Oh, there's a, a word wall and a... Whoa. As I suspected. Drem your lock. Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? I'm pretty sure you already know who I am. Yes, Vaza. You speak true, Dovakin. Forgive me. It has been long since I held Tinvak with a stranger. I gave in to the temptation to prolong our speech. So you're basically standing on the top of living on the top of a mountain even though you like conversation. Evenar Balok, there are many hungers it is better to deny than to feed. Ah. It's actually quite Discipline wise. against the lesser, aids in Kahnar, denial of the greater. Okay, no, fair enough. Why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? Well, there's a shout, and I need to know it, and Alduin's going to destroy the world if I don't have it. Do you, can you teach it me, please? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dovahkiin. Is this gonna hurt? I have spoken. The Rotmulag waits. Thank you very much. Now, show me what you can do. Greet me not as mortal, but as Dova. Yes, sir. I've always wanted to learn fire breath. <laughs> That's awesome. of speech with one of my own kind. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova's source, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Please, can you teach me the Dragon Ren shout? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. How did you know that that's exactly why I was coming? Alduin Comate Teed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovakin return together. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Ah, oh, man. Your kind. Jaw, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even 
comprehend its concepts. Oh, this is not good. Then, where am I gonna learn it? Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this, Thum? <sighs> well, I like this world. I don't want it to end. That is exactly a Melek thing to say. Prusa as good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? Well, since the next world doesn't even exist yet, it'll have to deal with its own problems. Pause. A fair answer. Rofus. Maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? To be honest, I'm... <sighs> Yeah, I never thought about it, to be honest. This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim. Sokrevakstruma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. So, this is where the shout was used, yeah? Mm, yes and no. Viknuznikron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin. Sounds good. But this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Awesome. So they basically sent him forward to now? Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Wow. So... You mentioned an Elder Scroll. Do I need to get one of these things? Hmm. How to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, 
but it has always existed. Rahuatlan. They are mm, fragments of creation. <laughs> My brain hurts. <laughs> the Kelly. Elder Scrolls, as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. Zofa Suyek. So, let's get down to business. How does this help me defeat Old Wayne? Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. That sounds you one way. You can learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Whoa, okay, that's just freaky. So, where am I going to find this scroll? Krosis. No, I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Great. Well, maybe one of my... one of my many, many people at the college will know. Trust your instincts, Dovakin. Your blood will show you the way. So, what does Dragonrend actually do? I cannot tell you in detail. I never heard it used. Kogan. It was the first Thum created solely by mortals. It was said to force a dragon to experience the concept of mortality. A truly von Mindoran. Incomprehensible idea to the immortal Dove. Cool. Fair enough. Um. So, once I get the Elder Scroll, what do I do with it? Return it here to the Tid Ahran. Then, Kele Vomindok. Nothing is certain with such things. But I believe the scroll's bond with the Teed Ahran will allow you a... a seeing, a vision of the moment of its creation. The Teed Ahran is the time word, then isn't it? Then you will feel no dragon rend in the power of its first expression. Sounds good. You will see them, Wuth Fadon, my friends, Haken, Gormleth, Feldir. Um, your friends? Who are they? The first mortals that I taught the Thum, the first tongues, the leaders of the rebellion against Alduin. They were mighty in their day, even to attempt to defeat Alduin. Sahrot Hun. The Nords have had many heroes since, but none greater. Great. So, you're the master of the Greybeards. I'm guessing the others come up here to train? Hmm. I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovakin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. What? I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. Wow. 
you must get shit lonely. <laughs> I don't care whether or not it's a hunger that you should deny yourself as a, as, a, as a kind of discipline enforcement. You need to get out more or people need to come in here and talk to you. I'll talk to you more. I don't care whether you don't want it. You need it. You're looking a bit ragged as well. Look at them wings. Anyway, yes, yeah, sorry. Um, so you meditate on the words. How? Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovatin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Faim, and Yol. Um... I have absolutely no idea. I mean, force is force, isn't it? Um, theme. Um, I have no idea. What what's theme? Fade in your tongue. Mortals have greater affinity for this word than the dove. Everything mortal fades away in time, but the spirit remains. Ponder the meaning of spirit, Unslad Zee. Where mortal flesh may wither and die, the spirit endures. That is fine. Let that meaning fill you, Sum Ark Mora. You will find that your spirit will give you more strength. Okay. Cool. So, I think I'll meditate now. Which calls to you, Dovakin? Fus, Faim, or Yol? Let's see what Yol does. In your tongue, the word simply means fire. It is change given form, power at its most primal. That is the true meaning of Yol. Soliak, power, you have it, as do all Dove. But power is inert without action and choice. Think of this as the fire builds in your Sum, in your breath. Sum Ark Mora. What will you burn? What will you spare? Cool. Um, how about the other one? Which calls to you? Force. It is called force in your tongue. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. Now that's Newtonian physics. Easy. Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its path. That is Fus. Let its meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora. You will push the world harder than it pushes back. But that breaks Newtonian law. Right, okay then. I'm off. I'm gonna see uh, see about getting this scroll. Drem your look. Greetings. Um, no, 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 bye. Sum Ark Mora. Whoa. Whoa. Nice. That was a good landing. That was dramatic. Let's get a good look at you. I'm not being nosy. I'm just... Well, I, I'm being completely nosy. It's, I've not really had a chance to really look at a dragon in any great detail. Normally they're kind of dying at the time. Cool. You've got to admit one thing. Bethesda have really, really done themselves proud of the dragon design. I mean, they're, they're four-limbed rather than the normal sort of six-limbed western design. So they're more like wyverns, I suppose. Um, 
but very, very cool. You're not going to mind me just nudging past you, right? Cool. Cool. Right. Well, let's see if I can... Here we go. Yeah. Easy. Right. Well, thanks very much for your time. I'm going to head off now. See if I can find the scroll and hopefully I can defeat this, well, old Wayne, who basically is, well, you probably know him personally. Right. Oh, my goodness. That was one hell of a trip. What do you mean? Learn the location of the Elder Scroll. Optional talk to... Anya. No. What? Or? What do you mean, or? Or talk to... Anya. Well... Well, it's optional. Okay, I'll talk to him then. See what he's got to say for himself. Hey, horsey. Still here. Good, good. Right, let's see what he's got to say for himself. What's up, bro? So, you spoke to Parthenax. The dragon blood burns bright within you. Did he tell you what you wanted to know? Did he teach you the dragon rend shout? No, but I know where I have to go from here on in. So be it. If he believes it is necessary for you to learn this, we will bow to his wisdom. Oh, shall I burst his bubble and say that he, he he actually doesn't know it, but... Oh well, I know something you don't know. Na 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 na, I know something you don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, so, do you know anything about the location of an Elder Scroll the ancients used? We have never concerned ourselves with the scrolls. The gods themselves would rightly fear to tamper with such things. As for where to find it, such blasphemies have always been the stock and trade of the mages of Winterhold. Yeah. They may be able to tell you something about the Elder Scroll you seek. Sounds good to me. Right then. I mean, I don't suppose you know of any other way we could defeat Alduin instead of in this Elder Scroll thing? Perhaps not. But this shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Oh, yes, you! Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed oh, the day. Oh, whatever. Just sure, shush, shush. Honestly, he's so defeated. He's oh, such a martyr. You know, I do worry about some people like that sometimes. 